here's here's the good news. So you don't walk away all Yeah, we work with corporate leaders all day long in the hallowed holes of all the big companies that it really matters, right? And they can't impact this and they all care. <laughs> There's my message. Yeah. They all care. And they're all taking it very seriously. So it's it's just what to do about it and this compromised condition of, you know, how do you still make money for your organization and do this? This is the hard part, but it isn't that people aren't enlightened, have accepted facts and don't care. That's, that's what I see. It's just how we go about reaching these goals and getting through all of the challenges and the compromises that we have to make to do this. It, it is, it is re going to require compromise. That's sure. great. So what's the future hold? Give us a glimpse. Let's leave this interview on a, on a high. Uh, I mean, you've talked about, you know, some of the technologies that are, are there, but where do you, without giving too much away, if there's things that you could share with us, then please do. We'd love to know. Yeah, the, I'll tell you, I, like? I think the, the coolest tech. technology. Um, so when I first started here, I, 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 I didn't know much, I'm not a PhD um, in chemistry or engineering. And I said, why, why can't we just take it out of the air? Like, <laughs> why is that so hard? Yeah. I'm getting a big vacuum cleaner <laughs> to suck it all out, you know? You can uh, and remove, remove it all. Yeah, this, this uh, gentleman said to me, well, the technologies exist. So we can do that. It's just they're too expensive and they're not scalable yet. But all new technologies are not scalable and too expensive. And but we will reach a point. And we're the the amount of investment in technologies around carbon capture it's growing like crazy. Okay, it's like the the, the millions and hundreds of millions in funding around yeah. carbon capture technologies. And this, techno this technology is super cool. We can, we can look at, we go after carbon emissions and capture it, right? Through, through I won't get into, you know, too sciencey, but like different materials and, and different ways. You capture it, you separate it from the oxygen and you can store it so it doesn't go into the air. Um, people are storing it like, like rock underneath the earth. Um, the agriculture and farming industry is figuring out how you can store carbon in the soil through through regenerative farming. It's really um, you can store carbon in diamonds. My favorite example. Wow. Um, so there's ways to <laughs> store carbon. Yeah. So it's it's we can take it out, and so it isn't about stopping emissions. Like that's it's not we're not going to stop emissions. Emissions right. are going to happen. It's about can we get it out of the atmosphere or negate what's going on? And, and yes, we can. And that's the really cool thing. When these companies say they're gonna be carbon neutral, there's the ability for them. I mean, an airplane uses jet fuel. So how does an airline company say that they're gonna be carbon neutral? Well, they're gonna still emit those, that carbon when they fly the plane. But what they're doing is they're investing in carbon credits and somewhere over somewhere else, there is a, a process going on that they're paying money for to take carbon out of the atmosphere and thus they become carbon neutral. And so it is, it is totally, um, it is this, there's this whole thing around carbon credits and um, it's not regulated yet, but I think it could be like a monetary system at some point. Um, and I think that's the future. It's, it's not stopping. It's about taking it out and fixing it through these, these carbon capture technologies. And I think that's, that's where the future is. I've, I've, got this, I've got this crazy vision of, uh, you know, of a plane flying through the air, leaving a trail of diamonds as it goes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so a, a future full of gems that would be amazing if uh if i mean if it could be if we could convert all that carbon into something useful i think that's uh yeah. that that is fantastic and, and this has been an absolutely gem of a of a of a conversation as well marissa thank you so much thank uh, you it's been it's, it's been wonderful to talk to you and uh to really get it from you know f from you know, from people that understand how this thing really works, you know, rather than just a bunch of opinions, as I said, right at the very start, you know, I mean, this is, this is about 
this is about bringing facts to you know to to, to the conversation and uh, you for sure do that so uh, thank you very much indeed this oh, yeah. wonderful to talk to you bye bye yeah thank you very much Rissa. all the best thank, thank you bye bye We love you and your business to join us on our voyage. If you're interested in finding out more about how your small ship can help rescue the planet for free, sign up at www.streamaidlive.com and we look forward to working with you.